At the story's beginning, we see three friends named Daniel, Alicia, and Chris, along with a photographer named Dobby. Alicia is Daniel's girlfriend, and Chris is Daniel's best friend. The three of them are camping in the Georgian jungle, and Dobby is taking pictures of them. He tells them to stand near some bushes so he can take a picture of the three of them together. They do as he says, but when he looks at the picture, he sees Chris standing on a mine, Daniel then sends Dobby to get help, and he stays with Chris. Alicia gets very scared, so Daniel tells Alicia to stay away from Chris, to calm her down. Daniel takes Alicia away from Chris and calls for help. His call goes through, and Daniel tells them to send a bomb expert to help. He then tells Alicia that they won't help them because of her. Alicia doesn't understand, so Daniel explains that he means that they don't help prostitutes. After saying this, Daniel returns to Chris, because he knows that Alicia is cheating on him with his best friend Chris. Alicia tells Daniel, I was going to tell you everything before we got married, so please forgive me and call the police for help. Daniel says, there is no cell phone signal here. I lied to you. When he discovered that Alicia and Chris were having an affair, he planned this trip to kill them. He and Abby planted the mine here so that he could kill both of them. Daniel then goes into the bushes and gets a spade. He tells Alicia that she is Chris's last chance of survival and that she can save him by digging a deep hole here. He then leaves them alone in the jungle. Alicia does everything she can to stop him, but he doesn't care and walks away. Dabby is waiting for him ahead, and they both leave as soon as Daniel arrives. On the way back to Chris, Alicia started digging a pit so she could save him. After a few hours, a hunter came with his dog and saw Alicia and Chris. The dog tried to attack Chris, but Alicia stopped it. The hunter then pointed a gun at both of them. Alicia tries to tell him that her friend's foot is on a landmine, but the hunter thinks that these people are killers and have killed and buried someone here. Alicia tells him that his friend's foot is on landmine and asks, can you help me dig it up here? He agrees to help, and Hunter's name is Ilya. Ilya asks, what do I get for helping you guys? Alicia says, you can take all my stuff. Ilya is thrilled to hear this, and he rushes to check Alicia's bag, where he finds an undergarment. He tells Alicia, I want the undergarment you're wearing. By saying this, he started harassing Alicia, and Chris told him to stop and give him all the money he has and his credit card. Ilya said, I do not want your money, if don't give me her undergarments I'll leave from here, Alicia has only one way to get help, so she removes her underwear and gives it to him. Then he starts digging a hole to help her, but he hears a radio in his back, which turns out to be his radio phone. When Alicia sees this, she asks to use his radio phone so she can call for help, but he says, what do I get by giving you the phone? Alicia asks him for a lot, but he throws away her underwear and says, you'll have to come to me like a dog with your underwear in your mouth. Alicia refuses him and keeps digging, but she soon realizes she can't dig a pit by herself, so she crawls like a dog and gives Elia her underwear. Then he gives her the radio to use. Alicia calls the emergency number, but the person who answers doesn't speak English, so she can't explain what's happening. She then asks Ilya to call for help for us in Georgian, and he says he will, but you have to take off your clothes first. When Alicia hears this, she tells Ilya to leave. The officer kept asking for answers over the radio, so Ilya told Alicia to tell him that we were fine. If she doesn't, a police report could be filed against him, so Ilya makes her say it. Alicia doesn't know Georgian, so Ilya says, I'll translate for you, but you'll have to keep taking off your clothes. One at a time until the police officer is satisfied with your answer, you have to take off your shirt. This is why Alicia has to take off her top for the first answer. After this, the officers stop asking questions so that Alias can leave. However, when the officers start talking on the radio again, Elia comes running back. Alicia is scared and asks him to leave, but Ilya holds a gun to her head and takes her. Chris hurts Ilya, so Elia goes to him in anger. When Alicia runs away, Ilya throws his gun on the ground and sends his dog after her with a chain. Chris then takes Ilya's gun. By then, Illis has also arrived and is holding Alicia hostage. In the meantime, Chris Point put his gun on Ilya and told him to leave. Alicia Ilya says that if you shoot him, Alicia will also die. He then takes Alicia behind the rock and starts clapping her badly. Chris can't shoot even if he wants to because he doesn't have very good aim. After this, just as he was about to shoot at Ilya, his dog attacked him and knocked him into a ditch. When Chris regains consciousness, he finds out that he accidentally shot Alicia and killed her. Ilya tells him that the mine was a fake, so he leaves. Later, Chris goes to a local's house and asks the woman and her daughter. Chris walks around the house and goes up the stairs, where the girl and her mother meet him and introduce themselves.
using the names Licker and Tanya, Ilya taking care of his bees on the other side of the property. They invite Chris into their home and give him a map. Tanya invites him to lunch, and Chris accepts. They lead him into the dining room, where he sits down. When Ilya comes home from work, he's surprised to see Chris with his wife and daughter. Ilya tells Chris to leave, but Chris says he'll eat lunch first. Chris starts eating and finishes his food. Then, Ilya takes Chris out of his house and runs to get his gun, but there are no bullets. Chris smiles at him, takes out his gun and shoots him in both kneecaps. Tanya hears the noise and sees her husband on the ground. He tells her to get Ilya inside and lick her to help her mother. They put Ilya on a sofa, and Chris tells Tanya to stand in the corner. He also tells Licker to hold Tanya by her hands and feet. Sadly, Licker sobs as she ties up her mother. Chris shows Ilya some underwear and asks who it belongs to. Licker says it's hers, while Ilya keeps asking Chris to forgive him, saying he only did that to Alicia because he was drunk and dissatisfied. Chris catch Licker and starts taking off her underwear. Then he throws it and tells Licker to bring it to him like a dog. Licker crawls over to it and takes it. Chris gives it to Ilya and makes him taste it. Chris says they're going to play a game. Chris gets drunk and says they're going to play a roulette. He takes out all the bullets from his revolver except for one. Chris says he'll spin the cylinder and she'll take off a piece of clothing. He spins the cylinder and shoots into an empty chamber, so Licker has to remove a piece of clothing. Ilya begs Chris to spare his daughter and take out his anger on him instead, but Chris won't listen. Ilya then crawls on the floor to save his daughter. Chris keeps spinning the cylinder and telling Licker to take off her clothes. Chris spins the cylinder again, but when Licker starts taking off her clothes, he shoots her in the head and kills her right away. Tanya and Ilya are sad as they watch their daughter die in front of them. Chris then moves to a corner and sits by himself with a sad and sorry look. 